Okay, so we're going to do this problem here with Ferdy, the homework guy. Um, but we're going to do it totally by the GDC. Everything is going to be done by the GDC. Um, and so I want to show proper notation to illustrate this problem. So I will say that I'm going to introduce H tilde binomial. I have three nights of homework. Probability of success is 0 0.8. A part is find the probability he completed exactly two to three nights. And so probably that h is equal to 2. And so to do this with my calculator, what I do is I go to, and I'll put it on the big screen. Oh, no, not that one, that one. Put it on the big screen, you can see it. All right, so I'm going to go to second variables is the distribution. And I'm going to go to binomial PDF. And I know that there are three trials. That's the N. The probability of success is 0.8. And I know I'm going to do it two times of homework, successful homework. And I hit paste it, hit enter. And I get my 0.384 is 0 0.384. And on your IB exam, in this question, this is all you would have to write. You get full points. You have to introduce it say what you're finding and your calculator computes it. There is no work to show. You don't have to put it into the to the binomial theorem formula. Create the probability distribution for this table. Well, I know I need to have h is equal to x, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and then the probability of h is equal to x. I need these probabilities. So what I could do is if I clear that, I'm going to go to y equals. I'm going to clear what I have. And then what I'm going to do, in y equals, I'm going to put my distribution in binomial PDF. And with the binomial PDF, I know there's three trials. And it's still 0.8. But my x value, I'm going to put x. And then I'm going to paste it. Enter that in. I'm going to go to my table, and I look for 0, 1, 2, and 3. So from that, I know that this is 0 0.008, 0 0.096, 0 0.384, 0 0.512. So the table will make me this distribution. All right. Now, we want to find the probability that Ferdy completes homework at least once. At least once. Well, that's 1 minus the probability of him never not doing his homework at all. So, again, I'm going to go to my calculator. Quit that. 1 minus second distribution. Go up to binomial. PDF. And I'm going to change my x now to 0. Hit enter. And I get 0 0.992. Mm. Moving along here, if I want to do the mean number, well, using my calculator to do this, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to put in these values into my lists here. So I'm going to clear this and enter. Then I'm going to go 0, 1, 2, 3. Move over to here. Clear it. L2, clear, enter. OK. okay so I'm going to go to L2. I'm going to go on top of L2. And then I'm going to go my very distributions. Go up to binomial PDF. My trial is that. And my x value, here's the key, I want my x value to be L1 to refer to the ones that I put in the list. And then I hit enter and it will populate the probability distribution. And so now once I have that I'm looking for the mean or the expected value of h. And so then, once I have those, 
if I go to my, sorry, my stat, I want to calculate one variable statistics. And L1 in my list, the frequency is L2. Click on that, and there's my mean. My mean is 2.4. My standard deviation is 0.6928. And so I can know this is 2.4. My variance is equal to 0.6923 squared. And to do that, I go to my variables, statistic variables, number 4 squared. And I get my 0 0.48, which is 0 0.48. So our calculator will do all these problems very quickly.